Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Dreamed of clouds, great long fluffy bastards, low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss, in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. A good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. And we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Atea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many entangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all to haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. If I wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime, I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse, and twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. 